Welcome to what is now named the Truby King Recreation Reserve. This once was the Seacliff Asylum. And I do believe there was a slip and eventually a fire which claimed the lives of 37 patients. 37 women here. Right where those trees are is where the building was. There is a man over there. <laughs> I'm going to go and explore. Here is the wall along where the old Seacliff Asylum used to be. You can see down there there's some ruins. And another wonderful walls. I'm actually going to try and go in here. Apparently there are tunnels under the ground. I'm not sure where. I we'll have to go back out here, it's too dense. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Last time I was here, just behind that wall there, I was coming back from the other direction and no word of a lie, I saw a little boy running so I followed him thinking, where's his parents? <laughs> what a strange place for anyone to be and this little boy ran out into the bushes over there so I followed, there was no parents, no child and no cars parked anywhere we're pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. There's a few houses. In a little while we'll head over that way. Because I want to show you where we had some pretty weird experiences as well. There's definitely something going on here. Hope this isn't as bumpy as last time. Have a look here first. You can see it goes down a little bit here. I do believe there are tunnels under here. Now the fire that claimed 37 women's lives, no one knows what actually caused it. Oh, pretty. See if we can go around that side. Capture that bird. No, it's going to fly in the opposite direction. I don't think I'd want to come here at night by myself. I'd certainly come here with someone else, maybe. <laughs> It was really weird, I just heard a door shut. There is no doors. There's this creepy storage area. get in there.
Look at this. I'm trying to climb this. Oh my god, there's a little cottage over here. I'm gonna see if I can get to it. Oh yeah. All oh, plovers, I can hear them. A little bit slippery, guys. So the wall goes along here, and there's a cottage behind. So I'm gonna go see. Try and get to it. It's probably sealed off. If I can find a way, find a way there. Oh, huh, okay. It's just over here. I'm gonna turn this off and try and find my way in. So I tried to climb through that bush there, but it's so dense, and there's a cottage down there that belongs with this. Over here, there's another wall. I don't know what that is, it looks like a chimney. And then there's some sort of entrance way over here. I know I'm going to have to have a look in here somehow. So climbing fences again. Let's see. Sorry for the bumpy ride. You see the tree line where they would have been surrounding the building. Yeah, this is where I saw the little boy run off over that way. So I'll be exploring that a little bit more. As you can see, <laughs> what's down here? Probably not a lot now. Watch out for holes. See, they've got it all fenced off, a bit of barbed wire. Steps. Steps to nowhere. Right there. Let's go for a wander. See, to me, this. Ooh, there's a duck over there. This would indicate to me that there is tunnels underneath. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Not sure if you can see that. And now this place has Lots of walkways, as you can see, it hasn't got a lot of people. Although there was a man here with his dog just before. I'm 
not going to go down this way. Or should I? I do believe there's toilets down here. <laughs> not ones I can use, mind you. out in the middle of nowhere. small looks like a child's toilet there's another one in there I'll just be silent. There's an area up here that creeped me out big time. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I think I found it. It's also the area the boy ran down into here from the Space that you saw above. New Zealand pigeon. a poem from someone who was here. I can't even read that. I'll try and read it later. 
Hang on. The other's too old or too ill who had not been out walking looked into sorry looked up dully as we entered with our cheeks pink excited with what we have seen the pigs the calves the doctors washing on the line the memorabilia oh no sorry the magnolia tree the pride of a hospital in bloom and we have been to the gate to the cattle shop sorry cattle stop at the gate Janet from I can't read that can anyone read that okay I'm gonna do this here A path that once was. I don't know if you can see over there the ocean. Would have been beautiful views from here when it was all done up. What's down there? It is beautiful here. But there's something else.
You can go up that way. Just lead you back to the open space. Okay. To the open space. So I'm going to go a way I haven't been. Either that way. Obviously, have to go back through here. Okay, back here again. I'm going to go back up here. Such a beautiful spot. bit warm out today. It's nice, it won't last long. Go up this way. Have a break, people. Okay. 
Okay, I just need to catch my breath, <laughs> climb that hill, and have a bit of a drink. So yeah, we saw a little boy, and I'm not kidding, he looked like you and me. He looked like he was almost like a skip run. Like happy to catch up with someone, but there was no one else here. And it's certainly not someone I'd leave a kid running around. Too many holes. You know? That was my shoe. <laughs> I really wish we could explore further up there and the cottage behind the trees here but it's really dense gorse so it might be a bit hard I'll take you back down this way but this is the entrance way to the asylum And the whole building was spanned all the way across here and with other buildings behind it on either side. It's now a reserve, it's called Truby Reserve, I think. You really don't see a lot of people out here. And that area back there, where you had the dark entranceways into the bush, walkways, myself and someone else actually saw something. <laughs> we just don't know what it was. And, and didn't like particularly being in there. I wanted to go down there again. See, it's a nice reserve now. Over that way, there's actually a picnic table. And down here, there are actually trees that the kids can play in that are amazing. I'm not sure if this place is haunted, but then, yeah, well, I wasn't the only one who saw the little boy. That was a bit bizarre. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. It's a pity the building built. Uh, sorry, the building burnt down. I'd love to see that. It was amazing. A bit of a rabbit warren by the looks of things. I know there's rabbits here.
a rabbit. Oh, it's gone. I'll take you through here so I don't disturb the rabbits too much. There's another walkway down there. Believe it or not, even though it's darker, it wasn't creepier. The one that we went down before was creepy. Down towards the picnic table. A little bridge. See these trees? Kids Wonderland. I keep saying you don't really need playgrounds when you've got places like this. There's an old path here too. I do believe any re remaining residents might have gone to, I think it's High. hang on, Highgate? No. I don't know. There's another place nearby. Highcliff? No. I have to find out. So you literally can come here and have a barbecue. Look at this tree. I'd picnic under here. So pretty. <laughs> Go out this way. You can see the car down there. That's my car. It's the only car here, and that's how it was last time I was here. That little tennis court. I'm going to go for a drive and see if there's another way to get to that cottage. If you don't see the cottage you know that I couldn't find a way to get to it. I'm guessing there was another building here. Come down here and play a bit of tennis. Okay folks. Let's see what else I can add to this. If I can't get to the cottage, I'm gonna try and find the morgue for here. Alright. Okay, well, I think it's called the Merton Cemetery. Oh, a rabbit over there. It just took me on a four kilometre stone road, only to bring me back to the motorway. Not sure if you can access it or not. The views from here are incredible, that's for sure. Small cemetery, apparently some of the people from Seacliff are here. It goes on for a while. Oh, you can access it from over there. It's on the main road. Please keep gate it shut at all times. Let's see, I can go in. I'd say there's animals here. 
There are a lot of working farms here. There. Oh, it's a bit hot out here today. Look at that view. What they say New Zealand is the second most beautiful country in the world? I don't know. I've only been to two countries so far. Working on the rest. Eighteen sixty one. <laughs> it's only a small cemetery. Bumblebee! Oh, look at this. The kitty cat. How gorgeous. In loving memory of Jane, eldest daughter of Thomas and Grace White, has no year or anything. The White family here. Loving memory of Thomas and Grace White. It's bizarre, there's no. No date. Oh, look at this one. Nineteen oh no, that's more recent. You wouldn't think so looking at that grave. What is that? <laughs> it's only rocks and water. I thought, oh my goodness, what preserved something or <laughs> no. Some of these are relatively new. It's obviously still a working cemetery. These are the old ones. Alright, well there's not much going on here. I can't see anything that relates to Sea Cliff. Not that I can see anyway. Nothing evident. But then again you may not even have that when you're buried. Oh, okay, unmarked. Maybe these are the ones unmarked. Shed. <laughs> It's 
So there's two unmarked there. That has a name. Just not sure what that says. Or oh, that one, hang on. Canyon. Oh, hang on. They're pretty old, aren't they? Eighteen eighty. All right. Let's not scare any more rabbits. Hope you've enjoyed having a look around Sea Cliff and coming and seeing this wee cemetery. Sorry, I couldn't show you the homestead. I found out that it's actually on private property now, so you can't access it, which is a real shame because there's a massive building there alongside it as well. I've taken photos, I may add them yet. If you like what you saw and have any suggestions on what I can do to improve, I will grab it with both hands because it's still early days for me now. So, of course, I'm, this is all new to me. So please like and please subscribe. Thank you.